<laughs> well, of course, you really should do that kind of thing to girls. Unless you really like them. Oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> Chaps, Wolfgore here. Sorry, I was just enjoying the theme song as always. And uh, yeah, well, we're jumping back into Doki Doki today. I think we're on episode number eight right now. Probably gonna record for about 45 minutes, split it into two episodes. That's been my plan that I've been working on doing. That was not good English. However, that is what we're going to do. It is going to work out great. And I am starting to get a little concerned about the nature of this game. We found out last time that Sayori is in fact extremely depressed and I'm a little worried that all the girls are extremely depressed and it's going to start coming to light in the very near future. However, we're gonna help them. We're gonna save the waifus because they are adorbs and they need saving. And, uh, and I'm the man for the job. I'm the senpai for the job. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I should be worrying. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Oh. I spend only a few minutes back at my home, anxiously awaiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the front door to let her in. Hi, Natsuki. Sup? Hey. I don't know what I was expecting, but Natsuki is something other than her school uniform. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. I see her in such cute clothes makes the not read today. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. I'm going to be- it's going to be a long afternoon so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. I see you brought a lot of stuff. Natsuki is carrying a large bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You brought everything I asked you to, right? It's a little loud. Much better. Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that, rather than something snarky like she usually does. Could it be that she is a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What, you're not even gonna offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, Wolfgore? Come on! That's the Natsuki we know. Since we, since when do I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bag Natsuki holds out to me. Gh, this is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, Natsuki. It seems like I always underestimate you. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits a first a fist into my chest, not a first a fist. Hey, hey! Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Eh? Um, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. But, geez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. Ha ha ha. What? That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. H hey! Now you are treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know. And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like... Uh... Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. Natsuki? 
Forget it. I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Eh? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like you. Yeah. Ah! How would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Da da da. Gross. Hey, was that to me? Who else? Man, let's just get started already. Ha ha ha. You got all sour when a girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness, Wolfgore. Natsuki smiles deviously. Please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now, finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flowers, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Wolfgore, where did you put the food coloring? The batter is going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Ah, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on! You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Ah, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking is just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end if you just look at it makes... Uh, it's a million times more worth it in the end if you just look at it makes everyone's eyes lighten up. Why am I not processing this sentence? It's a million times more worth it in the end if you just look at it makes everyone's eyes light up. That doesn't sound grammatically correct, does it? Okay, not just me? Okay. Look, like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too? Yeah. Maybe I will use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you're, you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with a whisk in a huge bowl for the icing. Eh? The icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It just takes a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you... I'll be here all night if you do it like that. <laughs> here, look. Natsuki grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. <laughs> After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasize Natsuki's... Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? The subtle innuendo in this game is fabulous. Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger toward the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I'd like to see you try. I push harder, just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger, just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Ah! The force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross! You got it on my <laughs> No! No, she didn't! Gross! You got it on my face! Oh my god! Who's fault? <laughs> oh no! Whose fault is that? There's a big blob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. <laughs> she tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jeez. You know what? Take this. Natsuki instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger towards my own face. You wish. I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Oh, <laughs> stop. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is getting spicy. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I didn't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know. Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. Holy shit! This guy's got balls! What? Did you seriously just... Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Well, of course, you really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls. Unless you really like them. Oh my god, I'm crying. You know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me just like that? Oh, how did the mood turn to this so quickly? I... Natsuki gazes at me in silence. I notice her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? It's called an erection. <laughs> eh? Oh shit. Out of nowhere the fire alarm starts going off. What the fuck? I can't catch a break. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I think you didn't put the, the cupcakes in yet. <coughs> Cough. No wonder you left a dirty tray in here, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. Natsuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove. In another movement, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads, but the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake tray into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing, like nothing ever happened. Ah, that smells so good! The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet-smelling warm air fills the room. Look at how cute they all look! She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They look even better once we add the icing. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make it look nice and fluffy. The, this one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time, though. What's this one for? I pick up one of the nozzles that has as much thinner... Has... Uh, uh, brain aneurysm. I pick up uh, one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip than the others. Th that one really... Oh my god, I can't read. I'm just so flustered after that... Event. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cake. Like happy birthday or whatever. Huh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We could make it more literature-themed by writing a different word on each of the cakes. Ooh! It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Uh, hmm. It was kind- I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. But that's actually a really cute idea. So, ha ha ha, maybe I'm getting it from you. What? What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Oh, smooth. Well, well, Natsuki's voice trails off. Same with you. Oh, eh? Did you say something? N no, nothing. Let's just do the icing. Natsuki picks up 
the pace and fastens a nozzle onto each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think, think about, chance to think about before Natsuki quickly moves on, she shows me how to apply the icing, and then we each get to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Uh, I wish I could have ha I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. <laughs> Sayori's the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be down ten cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway, I was hoping we would have time for manga when I need to be home for dinner. Oh, uh, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you'll always have this chance. Man, as usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Siori each carry some, then you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Ah, yeah. I again think back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sayori always does listen to me, but at that point it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Yeah, I get that. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too? I'll walk you out, I guess. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get close to her like I wanted? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thank you for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki? Eh? What you said before about not always having chance, having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think that, if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere. Um, do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely, like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah! I want to spend more time with you. Wolfcore! I thought you only cared about getting this done. Uh, I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki! Standing inches for me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch at the side of my shirt, as if holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision, along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breath against me. I f felt it. What did you feel? For a while now. Oh. <laughs> Natsuki suddenly jumps back. S Sayori! D damn it, Sayori! <sighs> Fucking cock blocked all day. Eh? Ah! Hi, Wolfcore. Sayori. Just, just now we weren't. <laughs> it's okay, Wolfcore. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, ah, well, you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I'll see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later! Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off, and Sayori waves goodbye. <sighs> that was not what I was expecting to go down today. I thought we were just going to bake some fucking cupcakes, but shit got fucking wild. Whoa! Okay, well, you know, I thought Sayori was bae, but I think I may have just preemptively reached that conclusion because we were close beforehand. But I don't know if we, after having talked, I don't know if we have the connection that I thought we did. I mean, we have a great friendship connection, but I don't know. I, I think I really bonded with Natsuki today, and I, I think we might have a new waifu. I, I don't want to jump the gun. There's a lot of twists and turns to come in this game, I can tell. But I think there might be a new waifu in town, and her name is Natsuki. Well, fam, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. 
and uh, share on social media if you really want to help me out. And uh, we will be back with some more Doki Doki next time. And uh, we'll catch up with Sayori and hopefully we can help her get through the difficult times that she's experiencing. But I love your faces, Beardheart. See you next time. Bye bye. You ever seen guns like these? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, make sure you like the video to support the channel. Make sure you leave comments supporting the content creator and uh, telling telling me how hot I am. Yeah, I know. Ugh, God damn, I'm disgustingly hot. Ugh, yeah. And uh, did I forget anything? Oh, and uh, be sure to share on social media. We really like that over here at the uh, Wolf Door LLC. Thank you, fam. See you next time. Bye-bye.